Good morning, afternoon, and night, dudes and dudettes. AG here bringing you a Pokemon uh, update of some sorts. Apparently, uh, maybe an hour ago, Pokemon of Korea, the website, their website, has leaked some pre pretty not amazing stuff, to be honest. Well, not amazing for me, I'm not interested. They, they leaked Mega Slowbro and Mega Arduino. Um, I don't know how you done fuck up like this, but thank you for fucking up Pokemon of Korea. So why not, like, this will be a video of me just like giving my feedback on what I think about them, my opinions, I'm gonna critique the hell out of their design, and to see how viable they are competitively. I don't play competitively all that much, but like, I, I know what's good and what's not so good. So let's dive into this. Let's start with um, Mega Slowbro. So Mega Slowbro, he retains his water psychic typing and has he ha he now has um shell armor apparently. Eh. I'm, I'm sorry if I paused there because these are like my first time like actually reading on them too. So this will be live reaction here for you. Shell armor, if I'm not mistaken that prevents critical hits, not too sure. But Okay, I'm gonna save that for later. Let's go into details. This Pokemon was accidentally uploaded by Pokemon website of Korea. I'm reading the details. It has a boosted defense and special attack. Eh, not bad. Angie was fused with a shelter biting its tail and resulted in the hardness of a shell increased and became an immensely hard suit of armor. Blah blah blah. When battle begins, Mega Slowbro stands up on its tail. Okay, propelling itself up like a spring. So this bitch can't walk. Okay, that's, that's basically all I got from this whole reveal. This bitch can't walk no more. Uh, what I think about Mega Slowbro. See, Slowbro's defense is already pretty damn good before. And now that's getting a de defense boost, physical wall, not bad. But it's typing, uh, like, I didn't expect them to change this typing, but you know. Uh, maybe they should've went with Mega Slow King. I, I probably would have liked that much better, but you know, maybe hell, hell, maybe they'll do that later on. It'll probably be like the first Pokemon with um two Mega Evolutions in the same like evolutionary line or some shit like that. But yeah, you know that shell armor. Personally, personally, they should have kept Regenerator. Regenerator was so fucking good, but no, they gave it this bullshit ass. Shell armor. What is that? Get that shit out of here. But whatever. Like this design, it kind of looks stupid as fuck to me. Like I like the idea of like the shelter kind of like taking over, but you, you guys can do something better. Not not even better. Something different, really. Just the shell taking over its body. I think that design is kind of lazy, but. Hey, to each their own. I'm pretty sure there's some of you out there who likes it too. Who like it, but yeah. Uh, so it got special defense, I mean it has regular defense boost and uh, special attack. To be honest, I don't really see this thing being all that viable since they removed um, Regenerator. And if they had Regenerator, yeah, this would have been way better, but no. Not, not with Shell Arm. I don't, I don't see this getting any kind of playtime. Like, hold on, but what can you put on this? Like, you can run a regular kind of like slow bro set, whatever you like, but like, with, without a generator, I just don't... Well, maybe, you could probably put slack off. Maybe. I'm not too sure about that, I'm gonna have to like, look up, because I don't use slow bro that, all that much. You know, I'll, I'll stick to evil light slow bro. But yeah, let's move on to Mega Arduino. Mega Arduino is now a normal fairy type. That's the first normal fairy typing, I think. I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's the first one. It now has the ability Healer. Okay, this Pokemon was accidentally uploaded by a website of Korea. It has boosted defense and special defense. Whoever comes in contact with its hand falls into a deep slumber. What is this? 
This is bullshit. Like, okay, all right. Nobody used Arduino before. Maybe in like double and triple battles, maybe rarely, but nobody I knew or nobody I've seen play Pokemon used Arduino. Now they gave us Mega Arduino, which should be a plus, but it isn't. It's the same shit. It's still doo doo. In fact, I think it's probably a little worse because didn't this also have a generator? Like, come on. How you take away two good abilities from one good Pokemon and another ass tier Pokemon and give it healer? And shell? Whatever? Shell shield or what? Whatever? Shell armor. There we go. Come on, man. Like, come on. I woke up out of my nap for this? This is what I woke up for? Nah. <sighs> so, you know. The only thing really good about this is it's typing, because I believe it only has two weaknesses, right? Poison and fighting, right? I think that's it. Pretty much resists everything else, or it does new- <clears throat> excuse me, neutral damage. But yeah, the design... Eh? It looks like Mega Arduino, whatever you would expect it to be. It's Mega whatever frankly i never liked this pokemon only used it for the exp in pokemon uh black and white shout out to you arduino for helping me out helping my brother get through but no use for this pokemon that i could see i'm pretty sure you know you guys or anybody would just find a use for this but not me i never liked it only liked it for xp so oh yeah like before, like my, when my friend told me about this on Skype, he said there was um people tell, telling me that telling him that this was actually not a Mega Evolution, even though I'm looking on Serebii right now and it says Mega Arduino. They're saying in some of the screenshots, um, there were no Mega Mega thingies, the little Mega symbol next to its health bar. I haven't looked at all the screenshots yet, so I can't really confirm that. So I don't know. So they're saying it's not, it's just regular evolution, which would make no sense. Um, Game Freak has never done a, a new evolution to a Pokemon in a remake. And frankly, that would be odd because if it's a new evolution, that means it will have a new Pokedex number. And like that Pokedex number would be in another, a whole new generation. They can't just add a number in between like, well, what, 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 what was um, Arduino's Pokedex number? Well, that was like 300 something something not even 300 that was way off well like 500 something wait well, it's gonna be 500 something and a half what is this no it's, it's not a it's not a new evolution i could be wrong though don't quote me on this they could just release these tomorrow i mean announce these tomorrow and hell it could be pokedex number 500 and a half for all i know but yeah um overall compared to the last batch of pokemon that were released or announced these Megas are pretty lackluster. We got like, we got Pogo Spring um, Slowbro and we got this bullshit. Like, I, I even want to fucking look at you anymore. But yeah, there we go. Those were the Megas. Kind of mad I made a video on this style because I, I came in here blind. I thought I was going to see some power. I didn't. But if you guys like these type of videos, comment below. The, tell me what you guys think. I, I, want, I want to see because, you know, I, I pretty much bash these two. But maybe you guys could find a use for them. I don't like them. I don't like their designs. I don't like their type. I, mean, uh, I like their types. Mm, maybe not slow, but, but I, don't I, I don't like their abilities, but yeah. Let's wrap this up. I don't like them. So, like, if you guys want me to keep on making these kind of, like, update videos for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire like I I'll only do it for Megas because you know I'm hyped for the game but not really all that much but yeah comment below what you guys think this is AG signing out have yourselves a good day a good day goodbye